I'm in a park with a very nice sunlight and it's springtime so I thought it's a, a good change to do it outside so I'm taking the camera outside and perhaps it's a bit noisy so excuse me for the noise we have published uh, the last post statement from Richard Tuto and he said I find that the best artists are the most disciplined people I've ever encountered and he did it uh, in the interview called Artists Are Like Clouds. The clouds in the sky, not the clouds that you save your data, but the other one, the normal one. And I think it's very interesting because the comments, uh, the comment section is amazing. From Adrian Panetizer, he said, I'm about 99.9% .9 sure that you're not talking about me. And I want to talk about discipline and the relationship be 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 uh, between discipline and being successful. And I think really um, it's maybe the top three qualities an artist should have, but not the top one. The number one, I believe personally, is that the willingness to understand other people's needs and other people's feelings. I'll give you an example of an artist who made an appointment with me to give her free consultation over how to market her art. The first appointment, she forgot about the time. The second, her internet wasn't working. The third, no explanation, she has disappeared. And it's like this. And this is not the first time I have encountered. And I can approach it in a disciplined way, like, oh, she's not disciplined enough. But she did tell me that she works 50 hours a week on her art, on making art, on research. And it's not about discipline in this case, I think. It's about being able to understand that she's wasting my time, that I'm there so she needs to at least tell me that she's not coming so that I don't waste my time. And if an artist is not willing to um, be a part of the society and really recognize that other people do exist in this planet, and it's not gonna be successful. I mean, those artists are not gonna go anywhere. And perhaps when people say, oh, artists live on the clouds and they are, they are like um, bohemian, rebellion, it's a very romantic idea of how a bohemian life is, but trust me, artists' bohemian life sucks. It's nothing to be to be proud of or to be uh, like to push for. And it has a lot to do with how you see others, and this is the number one reason for an artist to succeed, instead of discipline. The stereotyping of artists is the artists are uh, living in the clouds, living in the cars, drug addicts, or you know not hardworking, disciplined. But is it really about discipline? Really? I don't think so. And let's see other comments. Another comment from Suzette Castro Art. Aristotle quote, through discipline comes freedom. So very true. In a way, it is true because with great discipline, you will be rewarded with great financial freedom. And with financial achievement, you can have some kind of social freedom. At least you will have social mobility, which could be considered some kind of freedom. Um, it's it's true, but again, uh, is it really about discipline? I think it's about the willingness to meet the market halfway at least. And you can be disciplined or not disciplined, but if you don't meet the market, the result is the same. Okay, so that's all what I want to say today. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.